previously on the Steve Saga. I think I have an idea, but it's not going to be easy. Okay, Green Steve! Green, green Steve. Steve! Hey, Green Steve, you suck! Hey! Hey, man! Well, Yo, uh, you there, Chief? Oh. Okay. You're garbage! You're nothing! You uh, nothing! Green Steve, what? We, we What's that noise? Where did you go? Okay, alright, I, I think he's definitely lost us. Let's just do this nice circle. We're gonna- Guys! This really isn't good! Villains aren't always so obviously cut and dry. Sometimes, it isn't simply just an evil-looking monster that hates all things good deep down to the bone. Things can be complicated. All the more reason for me to find my friends. That's right. The gang's getting back together. Cause, well... This? This is the Steve Saga. This really isn't good. Um, I don't think we want to keep doing this. We might want to get out of here and see if we can find someone else. What are you talking about, man? We, this is- We've made it this far. What, what's wrong? Yeah, exactly. Not only that, look at this lab, bro. This lab is insane, bro. Oh my gosh, look at this. Is this a tree with lava on top of it? And there's lava below it? And... Well, this green Steve definitely is evil, man. This, this green Steve is definitely- Crazy, psycho, lunatic, evil, you know, all the all the words to describe that green seed for sure. I, I I I say we just get out of here. Seriously, we'll find someone else. Hey, wait, weren't you the one that was trying to argue with us and tell us that, well, I mean, it's better that we just kind of roll with this than just wait for someone else or try and go find someone? I, I feel like you're really contradicting yourself. Listen to me. What we will find out of this lab is not going to be good. You guys thought what I had to do to get my powers to get to you guys was awful? The way this Green Steve has been doing things, it's, it's unfathomable. I, I, I don't even want to explain it. Let's just leave. Um, uh, okay, um, I, I, Alex, I'm not too, uh -huh. I'm not too sure how, what to think about this. Do you, do you think we should leave? I don't think we should, but yeah. that is scary, especially because I, don't know exactly what it is or what like it's I've seen it's supposed before. to be. I don't really remember. I, either way, Hypno Steve, why are you so scared of it? I'm not scared of it. Well, yeah, I am scared of it. Okay, I'm scared of it because that thing has the power to ruin this entire world, and this Steve has been holding it here. And he's not doing a great job of keeping it safe, I might add. The reason that there's lava here isn't to keep that thing in there safe. It's to keep everything outside of here not able to get into it. It makes it even more dangerous. Okay, so the um. lava is to hinder people and not keep the things he's trying to work on safe. Okay, noted. <clears throat> Duly noted. Um, I still don't think we should leave. Okay, look at this place. We can definitely work with what we got here. Okay, I mean, obviously, I still can't break anything. Can you guys break anything? I don't think. I, um, I still can't. I no. Can't. No. no. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Really can't break anything. I. Okay. Well, I, we all can't break anything, but I'm sure we can figure this out. I mean, think about it. There's a lot of power in here. I know that. Okay. Not too sure what this does. Not too sure at all what this is supposed to do. But it doesn't mean that it's bad. Uh, from who we've had to deal with, I, I think it's safe to assume it's bad. You guys don't understand. It's not just bad. It's the core of how anyone that turns evil can get this is as bad as someone can get when it uh, nightmare Steve is nothing compared to what this thing holds nightmare Steve was evil yes but he fought people one-on-one -on -one. this thing yes it holds a lot of power and it could be our key to getting out of here but i would not suggest using it all right i'm getting a little sick of your vagueness bro okay because if you're gonna keep being that vague then i think we should just use it i say we just use it and we just move on okay look this thing seems to be hooked up in some way to the rest of this area, right? I mean, look at this. Look, there's a red sub block here connecting here, red sub block here. Looks like there's pistons in here. And then this is connecting to this. And it looks like, what is this? Looks like, wait, it looks like this could be turned into a portal. Don't you guys think? It sure looks like uh, it. Maybe. I've only ever seen one, really. This definitely seems like this could be turned into a portal. This might be our way out of here, guys. I'll 
tell you what that thing in there is, but you're not gonna like it. All right, well, look, okay. I, whether we like it or not, I would very much like to know what we're working with. Alex, would you also like to know what we're working with? Uh, that'd be best to move forward. Okay, yeah, two to one, two to one. Yep, two to one, you gotta tell us. That thing shouldn't even be allowed. No Steve's should be allowed to harness that. I, back in my days, when I was still in the regular world, before I went to the spirit world, this was harnessed by, well, multiple people. Not this one specifically, but it's a horrible power. It's dangerous and outlawed throughout the Steves. No Steve should be allowed to try and control this. Not even the evil Steves have dared to control this except for the worst ones. It harnesses Steve's powers. That's probably the reason why inside of this land we can't break anything. It's this thing right here. Steve, the green Steve, he knows about it. For some reason he's able to get around it, but every single time any Steve enters the land, they get their powers drained. No wonder I'm losing my power exponentially in this world. No wonder we can't do anything in this world. Not only that, if if you guys weren't freed by me, he probably would have taken you guys and put you inside of this thing. He probably would have put you in there just like he has with countless other Steves. Yes, I took some power from Steves in the spirit world, but they willingly gave it to me and it wasn't all of their power. It was the last of their strongest power. Just so that I could get out of there, but this thing here, it harnesses the energy of a Steve completely. It's evil, it's pure evil, and it's unstable. If we do one thing wrong, this entire world could be in danger. <clears throat> okay, well that, um... That, that was a lot. Yep, that was a lot to take in. That was definitely a lot more dangerous than I assumed it was. I mean, look at that thing. It's like the size of a block, bro. There's no way that that's more dangerous than... I mean, think about it. Uh, Galaxy C, when he couldn't control his powers, he had turned into a black hole. There's no way that that is more powerful. I don't know how many people have been turned into that thing over there, but... If there were a lot of people that that thing sucked in, then yes, it could be a hundred times worse than Galaxy Steve. Think about it, we don't know who's in this world. If someone extremely powerful had also fallen for the trap of this area and they were absorbed in there, that thing turns it into even more exponential power. Galaxy Steve, if you were to be absorbed in there, that black hole that you guys are talking about, I'm sure would be at least 10 times bigger just because of, well, him being absorbed by that. Okay, all right, well, that's, um, that's terrifying. Whoa. Yeah, that's quite terrifying, I must yeah, say. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Okay. Um, well, <clears throat> putting that to the side, it's very clear to me that the green... Oh my gosh, I think I know what the green Steve was trying to do. Guys, the uh, green Steve yeah. was also trying to leave this world. Okay, I now think I have a better hypothesis now that I've just said that. Um, guys, you remember that stole on the fence post and, you know it being all ominous and all that. I don't know what the one law thing was, but putting that aside, you ever realize how it seemed kind of a desolate, a little haunt, not haunted, but um, you know, kind of like a ghost town and this one Steve's here. Yeah, barren, yeah, that's a good word right there, barren. Empty. Yeah, empty, yeah. Void. Yeah, void, yeah. Well, I don't like saying that word, but um, yeah, either way, I have a feeling that this Steve has done this to a lot of other Steves. And he might be trying to build a portal to go to a different world to continue doing this. That's just a hypothesis, but it is a green Steve. If he lost his mind and with enough practice, I mean, technically anyone could figure out how to do it. Green Steves are the weakest. Maybe something happened to him. Maybe he lost his mind and he craved more powers to, you know, feel stronger. And this is how he did it. And it's all bad. This is all bad. This is really bad, guys. If he gets to the other world and he keeps doing this, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what'll happen. I mean, I can't break anything here. I rely on machines and people helping me, but none of, none of us can do anything here. We're definitely powerless. So, we should probably try and get out of here as fast as possible. Yes, uh, we should. Okay. But how do we do that without using this thing right here? Yeah, I wasn't suggesting we don't use it. I have a question um, before you guys assume that what I just said is horribly just messed up. Okay, yeah, yeah. Can I at least ask the question? Uh... Sure? Yeah, sure. Well, what's the question? Because seriously, I, did you just say that you wanted to use that thing? Yes, but is there a way to reverse this energy and revert all the Steves that might have been sucked in by that thing back to normal completely? Is there a way to actually fix it? Or is it once that there go, they go in there, that thing's just unstable and unfixable? Throughout my time of seeing these things, no one's been able to reverse it. Seems impossible. 
Seems like the only way to get rid of this thing is to send it somewhere else and destroy it or keep it contained for the rest of time. There's no way we can actually fix anything. Or maybe keep it just safe. I don't know. But the Steves definitely can't be reversed. Once they're in there, there's no way going back out. They're gone. Completely. Okay. Well, see, with that being said, don't you think that it would be kind of a good idea to use that thing to our advantage to get to the other world and maybe destroy it on the way out uh, so that the Steve can't use it? You know, because it seems like he keeps using it. And that's kind of bad, right? So if we use it to make it so that he can't ever use it, and that also in turn gets us out of this world, it, that's good, right? That is good. Uh, yeah, I, I would love your guys' opinions on this, Alex. I really don't like that he had to, I guess, sacrifice others for it, but it'd be better for us to use it for good before he can use it for evil, right? This thing can't be reversed. You're right. Maybe we should just use it this one time so that he can't ever do it again. But the thought of using it, all these Steves that got absorbed by it, I... It seems so wrong. I know it does, but is there another way out of this? Not only that, if we don't do this, if we don't try and use this thing just once so that that green Steve can never use it again, he'll keep using it over and over again. We have to make it so that he can't do anything with this thing, man. I don't like the thought of him even coming back to this lab. You're right. Even if we were to try and destroy this thing, we would have to use it once. We would have to try and use it once and transfer the energy somewhere else. That might be what this Steve is trying to do anyways. He understands probably how unstable this thing is. But if he creates a portal and transports it just as the energy releases, it might not be as dangerous. We might be able to do that just as, just as well. And if we get back in the regular world, then we could probably make a machine that dissipated properly. I don't know, that's all up to you, Saber. I think that's probably the best shot we got. I think we have to do this. Look, this thing is, it's hooked up, right? There's some gold blocks around it, and then here has some redstone connecting this, which has gold blocks, right? It, it has to be, there's no way this is a coincidence. And on top of that, the redstone keeps going and connects over here to this portal, which has more gold blocks. My hypothesis is that he's using that thing and whatever that thing is over there to connect together and create a portal. But I don't understand what this could be for. It's not like it's, uh, it's not like it's able to contain that. And why would he need this area? Rather, couldn't he just directly hook up this thing over here to the portal so that he could just create the portal immediately? Well, maybe it was too much, so he had to funnel it through something. Yeah, he probably did have to funnel it through something. And I think I know what he had to funnel it through. He absorbed a lot of Steve's to go into that thing over there, but he didn't absorb you guys immediately. He kept you in the trap, and I think I know why. Guys, take a closer look at this machine part over here. Uh, okay, sure. It's got a bunch of lava. Looks like what? There's like a different colored glass that might be just, I don't know. That could you, oh, look, it's, it's red, green, blue. So that's probably just the base colors. It's just a coincidence, I guess. Um, let's, uh, there's pistons in, oh, no. No, 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 It wouldn't have worked with, with me. That's not how that works, man. It wouldn't have worked with me. Oh, but I guess that green Steve wouldn't have known. Had you two been trapped, it would have worked perfectly. Exactly. He needed two different people to hop into here to dissipate the energy. Just one person wouldn't have done it well enough. Not only that, he even added lava. Knowing that most Steves are hindered by lava, he added the lava to even dissipate the energy even more. That's how strong and potent it is. It's gonna be real dangerous. Okay, not only that, if it is that dangerous and that much energy is gonna go through you guys, Alex, I'm sure, can survive it no problem. It'll probably affect her like nothing even happened. But him, no, Steve, you shouldn't even be here in the first place, man. You're barely surviving off of borrowed energy. You go in there, I don't know if you're gonna be able to survive that. I guess I have a decision to make. Guys, I I'll, I'll be right back. I've just, I gotta go do some thinking. Okay. I'll, we'll see you soon. 